With support from USAID, the Global Resilience Partnerships Round 1 Global Resilience Challenge awarded 10 grants for innovative solutions to help millions of at-risk people in Southeast Asia and the Horn of Africa better adapt to shocks and chronic stresses and thrive in a more resilient future. This film showcases two African grantees that are working to strengthen drought resilience among the rural poor through new financial products and linkages. One to provide livestock traders with access to Sharia-compliant financing and markets. The other to provide risk-contingent credit and financial training to disadvantaged farmers. The data captured from these projects will be used to fine-tune and scale the respective financial products and form sustainable business models to better spark adaptation and transformation in rural communities throughout the region and beyond. Across the arid lands of the Horn of Africa, there are well over 30 million livestock producers and traders. A changing climate and severe drought is aggravating cycles of poverty, breaking down complex strategies pastoralists have developed over centuries to help people survive and thrive in these extreme lands. Wajir County in northeast Kenya, bordering on Somalia, is home to over half a million pastoralists, and they hold a majority of their wealth in livestock. The livestock market system is the backbone of the economy in Wajir County, and it, it, yet it has a lot of constraints within it. When you look at the system, we find out that the main constraint was lying on the financial services. The majority of the communities are Muslims, so they are ready to take loan, but not loan with interest. The Mercy Corps team discovered that lack of access to Sharia-compliant financial services and diversity of terminal livestock markets were undermining the resilience and well-being of pastoral households. Without cash in markets, livestock traders are limited in the number of animals they can purchase at once, and herders struggle to find buyers who pay a fair price. The situation worsens during drought when livestock health deteriorates. So key for the Mercy Corps team is to get money and market efficiency into the livestock market system, building up the community's resilience to drought. One of the key products we designed and launched with the help of Masiko in Ojia was a product for livestock traders called uh, Mifugo Kashkash Kash, um, in Swahili, which is basically um, uh, livestock money money. <laughs> it's the only product of its kind anywhere in the world. Mifugo Kashkash Kash is a Sharia compliant. How it works is the financier provides the finances and then the trader comes with a skill. So they partner together and they share the profits and the losses that comes throughout the trading. About a two hour drive from Wajir town is JJ Village, a place where livestock keepers have settled around a waterhole because of recent severe droughts. The JJ Livestock Trader Group is typical of pastoralists who have taken advantage of the Mafugu Cash Cash, or MKK, loan experience. The requirement is that you have to be a group of people who are formed in cooperative design, mixture of men and women. Part of the deal was about eight weeks of training for each group so that they can understand the financial management, be able to differentiate between revenue and profit. Once they had the MKK loan, they were not just left like, okay, here is the loan. They could have broken down. What we did is we looked for them in the market. We find out that there are around six meat exporters in Nairobi. We brought them together. They signed an agreement. Once the JJ Trader Group received their MKK loan, they went to work. They bought goats from the community and transported the animals directly to markets in Nairobi. 
كان حولي وجوكتا ووقت جي يا دل عدود الله بقول يا فرتن حولي رما وأفرد تفنج بريديش بدات بلو كاني ما كانت كي العاية غيبة هنا يلن ولو كي إمادة The severe drought conditions that coincided with the MKK pilot provided the perfect opportunity to test the product. Was it actually helping the community cope with drought? As it turned out, the team identified a flaw in the product design. It turned out that our involvement in the purchase and sale of the livestock hindered the efficiency of the business group. We were a bit of a hurdle to their speed of decision making. So we changed a product that gave them funding and support, but did not shackle them in terms of administrative requirement. So in consultation with traders and Islamic scholars, Mercy Corps and the lender redesigned the product. Changing the terms of the MKK loan solved the problem. During drought, pasture shrinks and animals weaken. Access to farmed fodder can be a lifeline for herders and traders alike. Yet for traditional pastoralists with long histories rooted in grazing, feeding animals with cultivated fodder can be a difficult idea to accept. Mercy Corps saw an opportunity. They introduced a subsidy scheme that encouraged MKK traders to purchase fodder. The scheme worked. At the height of the drought, traders were able to fatten starving animals and get them to market. The benefits extended to pastoral households as well. There was now a market for their weakened animals. Even after the subsidy ended, traders continued to purchase fodder from farmers, cementing linkages for a stronger and more resilient livestock market system. Imagine if this MKK were not there, the last droughts that they almost bought 3,000 weak animals, they feed them and sell them. The community, they have their money in hand when the drought is happening. When the rain comes, they can buy the shots again. So we are seeing a, a system change within the pastoral community. I see Mifugo Cash Cash scaling up. We're already getting calls from adjacent counties are all talking to us and saying, why don't you do similar products here? Um, so we think that this product will be successful on a larger scale. For me, what I learned from this pilot project is that resilience is risk-taking, courage, and learning that things will come up, but you have to change. Southeast of Nairobi, in Machakos County, the Global Resilience Partnership is enabling a different innovative financial instrument, one that also features developing world actors, potentially creating their own unique public-private partnerships. Pan-Africa Equity Bank and AP Navy Insurance teamed up with the International Food Policy Research Institute to create a user-friendly loan product for small-scale farmers in weather-challenged environments. In case of drought, RCC, or Risk Contingent Credit, uh, it's a financial inclusion product which protects both the farmer and the bank. RCC is unique in that it has an indexed insurance component linked to a rainfall trigger that pays a farmer's loan in case of weather-related crop failure. Index is where we look at the crop weather requirements throughout its season of growth and match it with the actual weather happenings so that should there be a deviation, it means the crop is not able to perform well. So if no rain, no harvest, the insurance kicks in. The farmer, the bank, are protected. The first step in the pilot project is to train the farmers on financial literacy. Most do not have a bank account and have never received a loan before. The communities don't understand insurance very well. And that also explains why the penetration of insurance in Kenya is very low compared maybe to other regions. We needed to train them so that they understand and appreciate what insurance and credit is all about. 
An RCC game was developed as a teaching aid. The game is a pictorial presentation of the three imaginary category of farmers and helps the farmer to really understand what RCC is. It compares three types of farmers, one with no credit, who self-finances their farming efforts, another with traditional credit, or just a regular loan, and a farmer with a risk-contingent credit loan, or RCC. It uses a random draw method to compare yields for both good and bad seasons. After we've done the training, we've seen them always preferring RCC. You know, I'm shielded, I'm protected. Mrs. Jane Muini Musau likes the idea of protection. She's been a farmer for 46 years, and she's never had a loan before. But she's interested in taking one out that ensures her in case of drought. The next step in the pilot project is to get the farmers planting. RCC loans, however, are designed not to give cash, but inputs. Seeds, fertilizer, and pesticides, enough to grow one acre of maize, which the farmers pick up at a local agro store. After the farmers came here, we had to take them through the, the seeds that we have, the pesticides and the fertilizers that they were supposed to use to get uh, maximum yields. The planting started out well with good rainfall, but drought set in towards the end. Many maize crops were destroyed. Unfortunately, the drought index model used for this first field experiment didn't see the drought because it was designed to measure rainfall over the entire growing period, not when the rain actually fell. But uh, we've learned from this. We're actually concluding to have the trigger checked every 21 days. And this will help us to avoid the issue of looking at cumulative rainfall, rather distribution of rainfall. Even though there were drought issues in the end, the RCC pilot experiment was considered a success. It was a great learning for us. We realized training was a very, very important component, both for insurance, for credit, and generally even about uh, how to do good agriculture practices. To scale up, the project also needs to move to other counties in Kenya, as well as to other Horn of Africa countries. Many more banks, insurance companies, and agro-dealers also need to be involved. I think even inviting other strategic uh, partners, for example, you know, the public sector, the government, to come on board and also play their role in the promotion of this technology. Going forward, we believe that it might be the game changer for agriculture, particularly for smallholder farmers who rely on rainfall. So for me, I, I think RCC is such a great tool to help us achieve resilience and transformation amongst the rural poor farmers that we are targeting with this. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out.